all right now in this json file can you tell me what kind of mistakes i did well you can pause this video for a while to observe the mistake which i committed in this file okay now let me help you over here let me show you one mistake which i did say by mistake you can say so over here you can see that i forget to add the comma like this okay so now let's go through all these mistakes and fix it using our online json validator tool provided by byte scout okay so here i have pasted our dc history json file content and when i paste that json file in this tool it immediately started throwing this type of error and here it is telling me that i have forgotten the comma so let me add this comma now after adding the comma it started showing me the next error over here at line number 10 so now can you identify this what kind of mistake is this well consider a situation like if you have a control character within a string literal in your json file for example this literal string contain a new line fit character so now what to do in this situation how you can fix this issue well for that you have to use new line character which is backward slash and n and let me arrange in one line so now you can see that we have fixed this new line character issue and it started showing me the another issue which is at line number 16 all right now again consider a situation where what if any of this json property value contain a literal backward slash character like this well right now it is giving a syntax error because it is trying to parse a string with backward slash and dot okay so how we can fix this issue well to fix this issue you need to escape it by using one more backward slash character like this so now it is showing me the next error which is at line number 17 so what is the error at line number 17 can you identify it yes you are right I have added the extra comma over here. So let me remove this extra comma. And that error is gone. And now it is showing me the next error, which is at line number 23. So let me scroll down. So now over here at line number 23, can you identify what I have forget something? Yes, I have forget the colon. So instead of dash, I need to add colon over here. And if I scroll up, then that error is gone and it started showing me the next error which is at line number 27 so now let's see what is at line number 27 so now again can you tell me what mistake i did over here okay now let me remind you one thing once again in json you have to have double quotes around the key name and this is the thumb rule i guess now you got it yes i forget the double quotes over here and now it is showing the next error at line number 29 so let us scroll down again so now can you help me what kind of mistake i did over here now as we know that in json array is always start and end with square bracket so we have opened the square bracket over here but instead of adding the square bracket i have added the curly brace so to fix this issue i need to add closing square bracket so over here now you can see that our json file is become a complete valid json okay now let's move ahead so now consider a situation what if my json file contain any comment like this well as you can see that this tool are now started throwing this type of exception so what it means is comments are not allowed in the json file now let me show you one stack overflow thread for this so over here you can see that comments were removed from json by design according to this answer json does not support comments and it was also never intended to be used for configuration files where comments would be needed but let me show you another stake overflow thread well according to this stake overflow threads nowadays some of the libraries like json.net started supporting comments in json file so in this answer as you can see that json.net 6.0 
supports single line comments all right so now after seeing this video hope you will take care of all these points which we have learned when working with json and with this we have reached the end of the module now it's time to wrap up the course